B.F. Skinner's Theory of Behaviorism and Its Impact on Education. Uh, B.F. Skinner was born in Pennsylvania on March 20th of 1904, and he spent most of his career at Harvard University. He wrote over 200 books, received over 30 awards, and received over 21 honorary degrees. Now, B.F. Skinner lived through incredible events, traumatic events, such as War I, War II, and the Great Depression. It was in 1939, as an example of his behaviorism, that Skinner had the opportunity to apply his teaching to warfare. And using his idea of operative conditioning for the U.S. military, he created this project, project called Project Pigeon. And the goal was to improve weapon systems. And the way he did it is he trained pigeons to guide missiles. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with leukemia, and he died in August 18th of 1990. Bea Skinner believed that anyone can change, and he wanted to improve society. And what better way than to change society than through the American school system? And so he began to be involved in the education field. And he believed that he could help teachers in several ways, that he could help them with creating a reward system, training them about verbal cues and prompts, and providing them with social and emotional life skills or helping the students learn uh, important social and emotional life skills that would improve their lives and to create a better classroom experience. I think any teacher in any classroom in America could uh, use the research of B.F. Skinner to help them with their academics and help with their behavior in the classroom. You know, creating that good learning environment is like creating good lighting, no distracting sounds, positive posters on a wall, a clear set of classroom norms that are positive and encouraging. There were some problems with B.F. Skinner. Uh, he was very influential in behaviorism, but he lacked in idealism and in the spiritual realm. You see, he believed that people were no different than animals, that we were just a higher form of animal life. And that's an issue because he believes that behavior was just a response of a lifetime of responding to stimuli and consequences. And he fails to understand that some people pursue a higher purpose, not based on stimuli, but for the desire for justice, truth, beauty, and goodness. You see, a, a, a mind is a powerful tool that can sense justice, beauty, truth, and goodness. And Skinner didn't see people as thinkers. He saw us as doers. And this fails to realize the concept of critical thinking. You see, we need critical thinking uh, to understand art and political cartoons and in poetry. I also, as a believer, have to view his teachings through a Christian worldview. And because he viewed people as no different than animal life, he failed to recognize that humans are created in the very image of God. You know, we respond to situations sometimes because of stimuli and consequences, but it's also through the workings of the Holy Spirit that we do things, right? And let me give you an example. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 says that we are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. This is from the Lord who is the Spirit. You see, Christ's followers are being transformed. We are being sanctified through the very work of the Holy Spirit, which means that Christ's followers do what is right because it's the right thing to do, not because of a verbal prompt or some kind of stimuli. You know, I think about Concrete Elementary. If you go there today in Powersville, South Carolina, you go into rooms, you're going to see a reward system on the wall with their names and little stars as they, as they do right things. If you go to Woodmont Middle School, you'll see that every student in that, that school is divided up into different houses and they have competitions and they receive these reward points that they can use in their store. And it's, those are two great examples of how you see B.F. Skinner's work is still being used in the classroom today. And despite differences, we do believe that he will be very influential in the time to come.